Thank you, Colin, and good evening, everyone. It is a real pleasure to be here. Um, when Maury asked us, Maury House invited us to help them to organize a public event to remember Jessica Huntley, and I believe the Indra is going to be speaking a little later, and the Women's Progressive Organization has al already held one tribute in her honor. Uh, we jumped at the opportunity, and I'd like to thank Joan and Bert and Colin and Joss and all my co-conspirators in, in helping to, to bring this remarkable women's contributions to, to a wider public audience. I was just in Trinidad last week speaking with an audience, and one of the things that I shared with them was the, some words from our Guyanese poet, Martin Carter, who in a commencement address to University of Guyana graduating students in 1974, spoke very feelingly of something that he called a free community of valid persons, asking us all to work towards a free community of valid persons, uh, a hope and a dream that I think tragically has yet to be realized across our entire Caribbean. And I think when I think of Jessica Huntley, it seems to me that her contributions, her activism, her work, her commitment really embodies what it means to struggle for that free community of valid persons. From her earliest days in Guyana, her involvement in the Women's Political and Economic Organization, in the PAC, which would later become the People's Progressive Party, her commitment to the anti-colonial struggle and the multiracial dream that was represented by the early uh, People's Progressive Party, all the way through two decades later to her support for the multiracial politics represented at the time by Walter Rodney and the Working People's Alliance that he helped to found. Her work in the United Kingdom, fighting against the sus laws and against police brutality and racism, organizing with Caribbean parents, not only against police brutality and organizing demonstrations in the street of London, but participating in the supplementary school movement, going beyond that to offer her living room and then a bookstore um, as a space for Caribbean parents and children to gather, going even beyond that um, not even just the question of publishing and carrying books and titles, but also being actively involved in preparing educational materials for Caribbean uh, children in the, United, in the United Kingdom. Her work on an international front in the anti-apartheid movement, in the campaign to free Mumia Abu Jamal, uh, her work publishing a range of writers, her work in the International Book Fair. And one of the things that I think she has left us with is a, a, a vision that really transcends parochialism, which I think is one of the most deadly viruses that really infects us across the Caribbean today. To reduce Jessica to any one of these moments, to reduce her to her PPP days, or to reduce her to her support for Walter Rodney, or to reduce her to her involvement with Caribbean parents, or to reduce her to her involvement in the bookstore, is to do an absolute injustice to the entirety of this woman and the range of, the range of um, commitments and the range of struggles that she was always involved in, always in, a sense, uh, always in a sense driven by a relentless pursuit of social justice and a relentless pursuit of a world in which, as Martin Carter says, we could imagine that we belonged to a free community of valid persons. Her world defied parochialism. Her world transcended narrow boundaries. Her world transcended national borders. It was a compassionate rebuke to narrow racial and cultural divides. It transcended culture and politics. It was an attempt to think of ourselves as whole, as unified, as striving together for a more just world. I am deeply honored and moved to be involved in this tribute to Jessica Huntley. It's, it's such an incredible honor to be able to do this in Guyana, to share her life's work, the range of her life's work, with this audience and for her family who know that we are organizing this event um, here in Guyana and we are videotaping it so that they can understand that we recognize that she is more than just one of these pieces. She is indeed the sum of all of these parts. Thank you.